I'm seeing uh, the ramp straight ahead of us right now. I'm going to extend the landing gear while below four knots ground speed. So gear is down and locked. I have my water rudder down right now and I'm just gonna go full left. Feels good. And now I'm gonna see if I can do full right, full right. Make sure I still have authority to swing the nose back to the opposite direction all the way to the other side. And then I'm gonna go back to the left, make sure I still have controllability. So it looks like I do again, winds are pretty light, nothing too extreme here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, bring my gear back up because we still have a little bit of ways before we get to the ramp. So as I get closer, I'm gonna start thinking about bringing my gear down, right? It takes about anywhere between seven and 10 seconds to get a full down and locked indication. So I don't want to wait to the last minute because you also want to make sure you're getting the down and locked. You don't want it to get stuck in transit and then be almost touching the ramp, not having a way out before you realize you have to bail out, and recycle your gear. So gear is down and locked. Area looks clear. As soon as I feel the nose touching, the ramp, I'm going to increase power and go up. It doesn't have to be full power, but it'll be a decent amount. There it goes, adding power. So, power is at idle, my nose is completely centered, I'm heading straight down the ramp, and now I'm just going to kind of release the brakes and let the momentum of that ramp, the decline of the ramp, bring me back into the water. So I'm completely buoyant. I can go ahead and bring my gear up. So gear's up and locked. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my water rudder back down. And that's it.